Hello folks, this is Aitana Jha from InspireToRise.com and today we have the LG Nexus 5 smartphone after the Android Marshmallow Android 6.0 update and the overall device performance etc has really improved right now and we will test all of that and we will tell you more about the Android Marshmallow features in detail in this video right now. The LG Nexus 5 was one of the best smartphones in the Nexus lineup and it is also till now one of the most successful smartphones in the Nexus lineup loved by many used by many and let us just show you the build version of this the Nexus 5 over here 6 Android version 6.0 Android security patch level worst October 2015 build number MRA58K so we have Android Marshmallow over here and you have the game the game is still there and this time the difficulty has been decreased after the Android Marshmallow update the overall standby time improved by around 5 hours, 5 to 6 hours, 5 hours more, that's a significant difference. And because of the fact that the LTE on the smartphone, the GPS and Wi-Fi and everything almost stayed on all of the time, the need to charge came at the evening time or at the night time right now. Earlier I used to charge this phone after the, after the lunch hours, but right now need to charge the phone during the day and that's a really significant improvement and that's because of those feature in the Android 6.0 the most important feature is the now on tap and apart from that the dose which we talked about al already earlier and apart from that there's a new permission system as you can see tap and pay features have been added inside the smartphone by Android pay and another useful upgrade is the app linking upgrade wherein one app can directly call up another app by just clicking a button or a link and that's a really good feature and apart from that the permission system gives full control to the user about the permissions and what kind of permissions they want to give to the different applications the chrome browser has got a reboot in android marshmallow the web browser can now be fully integrated into applications and the developers can build the browser seamlessly into the app without forcing the user to switch to the chrome browser other features like automatic sign in saved passwords autofill and other enhancements like enhanced security are also available to the developers apart from that there is better copy and paste USB-C support for fast charging volume control and really a lot of small improvements across the OS what else is new the clock has been improved and made more stylish in the Android Marshmallow the fonts are, have a little bit more personality as is visible and have the fonts have been made all caps these are the small changes that people don't notice usually but still they are something that make the whole overall user experience better and apart from that there is a whole dedicated memory section inside wherein users can see how much RAM is being utilized by their applications and the overall usage in terms of total memory usage because people need to know how much RAM has been utilized by their applications and now you don't need a third party application to do the same. Here you can get to know which apps have been hogging the memory the most and this can help you to make decent choices about which apps to keep and which apps to uninstall. The one thing about Android Lollipop that bugged most of the users was that the volume control was really messed up. The silent mode had been ditched completely which caused a lot of trouble to many users. But right now in the Android Marshmallow update this thing has returned. You have individual volume control for different things which makes it an overall better experience and makes for a really nice ease of usage. The Google Now on Tap feature works really fine and we had tested it in quite a few conditions and it worked really nice. For example, right now, when we press the Google Now on Tap, it just takes a little while to gather more information about culture because the article that we are reading right now is the good and bad of culture shock. So the contextual information, overall information that has been provided to you has improved by leaps and bounds. Though this is something that might piss off some, some privacy advocates. But still this is one of those features which makes your day to day life easy. But it means that more of your data goes to Google now. Here's how now on tap works. You can get directions, reviews and price and shortcuts to helpful apps for restaurants mentioned on the screen for different stuff. So right now we just knew more about Alt-J the rock band just by pressing Alt-J the name which was given on this page. So it works really nice like this and you can view Alt-J videos just by pressing on YouTube. And it just started off right now. So that's really great and the overall contextual information right now is really great on this one. 
so that's one of the better things about android 6.0 when it came to the camera quality, significant improvements haven't been made but still the overall camera performance does feel a little bit better than before. And these are few of the shots that we took. And this is a macro shot of a flower. So the camera sensor is the same as before but still the algorithm changes and few of other changes have made sure that the overall experience has become a little bit better than before. Now the Nexus 5 still feels a device which is good enough for the 2015 or maybe the 2016 and it would last you throughout the day right now and with the latest upgrade it feels a little bit more snappier than before and performs really nicer than before. So that was all for our Android Marshmallow on Google Nexus 5. Don't forget to hit like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel folks. This is Aitana Jha from InspireToRise.com signing off. Stay inspired to rise.